Mabuhay, turista! I am Charles Adrian Y. Lismas from Philippines, your tour guide for today. So in this virtual tour, let us visit the three countries in Africa continent, namely Equatorial Guinea, Sao Tome, and Principe, and Gabu. <coughs> turista, are you ready? Then let us visit first the Sao Tome and Principe. Oh, oh wow, we're here already in Sao Tome and Principe country. So, did you know that Sao Tome and Principe country discovered and claimed by Portugal in the late 15th century? The island's sugar-based economy gave way to coffee and cocoa in the 19th century, all grown with plantation slave labor, a form of which lingered into the 20th century. So, Turista, Sao Tome city is the capital city of Sao Tome and Principe country, whereas multi-party republic with one legislative house or national assembly as their form of government. This country were located Western Central Africa, islands straddling the equator in the Gulf of Guinea, west of Gabon, with a total area of 1,000 square kilometer or 386 square miles. For their climate, it is tropical with wet and dry seasons, influenced by the mountainous topography. Satomi, which is oval in shape, is larger than Principe, which lies about 90 miles or 145 kilometers northeast of its sister island. The capital of the country, Sao Tome City, is situated in the northeastern part of Sao Tome Island. The country's closest neighbor are Gabon and Equator Guinea at the Atlantic coast of Central Africa. On the other hand, standard Portuguese is the official language that is understood by virtually all islanders. In addition, three Portuguese-based creoles are spoken. Sao Tumens is spoken by the poorest and having by far the largest number of speakers. Number two is the Angular, the language of the Angularis, is spoken at the southern tip of Sao Tome. And lastly is the Principin, spoken by only a few hundred individual on Principin. And the Dubra is the currency of Sao Tome and Principe. It is abbreviated DB and is divided into 100 centimos. The first Dubra was introduced in 1977, replacing the Escudo at par. Move forward, Stipe Airways is the national airline of Sao Tome and Principe. It is currently on the list of careers banned from operating into the European Union, so its flights are operated by the Portuguese airline Euro Atlantic Airways. On the other hand, Sao Tome International Airport is an international airport located on Sao Tome Island, 5 km from the city of Sao Tome. It is the main airport serving Sao Tome and Principe. And did you know that an approved Sao Tome and Principe e-visa allows a single entry stay of up to 30 days for tourism or business purposes for all tourists, including Filipino tourists. <coughs> Turista, are you still there? Then let's continue. Moreover, this country has no tagline for their tourism. To simply put, not applicable. However, the country is known for its beautiful beaches, tropical forests, and diverse wildlife. Here are the top 5 tourist attractions to consider visiting during your trip in Sao Tome and Principe country. Number 1. The Ovo National Park. Now, this protected area is prone to variety of rare and endangered species. Number 2. The Praia das Concha. This beautiful beach is known for its clear water and white sand shores. Number three is the Sao Tome City. The capital city of Sao Tome is home to a number of historical landmarks, including the Sao Sebastian Cathedral and Presidential Palace. Number four is the Pijo Pal uh, Grand. This is popular for hiking. And number five is the Rusa Agostino Nito. This form of plantation has been converting into museum and cultural center showcasing the island's history and traditions. So there are two ethnic groups in Sao Tome and Principe country including the mixed African and Portuguese Africa. And did you know, Turista, that one of the popular festivals in this country is the Sao Lorenzo Festivity or Auto de Floribus Festivity, which happens annually on August 15th. This festivity is the most important theatrical event of the island. Regarding their culture and traditions, 
South Homians are known for Zua and Soko rhythms, while Principe is home to the Dexapit, and football is the most famous sport in South Homian Principe. The South Homian Principe national football team is the national association football team of South Homian and Principe, and is controlled by the South Homian Football Federation. Where us, Chiloli, the most popular theater tradition of Sao Tome is a localized theater form adapted from the medieval Portuguese drama of the tragedy of Charlie May. And oftentimes, men do wear the classic uh, bow bowl with a matching shirt and trousers underneath while women wear it with a matching rubber or pen and head tie. <coughs> Turista! Tara na! Let's go to the next country, which is the Equatorial Guinea. Tara! Welcome to Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea, officially the Republic of Equatorial Guinea, is a country of the west coast of Central Africa with an area of 28,000 square kilometers or 11 square miles. Malabu is the capital of Equatorial Guinea in the province of Bioko Norte. It is located on the north coast of island of Bioko. Equatorial Guinea is a dominant party state. This means that only one political party, the Democratic Party of Equatorial Guinea, is in fact allowed to hold effective power. This country is situated in West Central Africa, bordering the Atlantic Ocean between Cameroon and Gabon. It shares maritime borders with Nigeria and Sao Tome and Principe. On the other hand, there are two distinct seasons in Equatorial Guinea, the dry and rainy season. The wettest months are April to October, while December to March is the driest. Furthermore, Equatorial Guinea in West Central Africa has two distinct regions, a mainland region and an insular region. The mainland begins on a narrow coastal plain edged by mangrove swamps. From there, the land rises into an elevated plateau of thickly forested hills to its border with Gabon, reaching upwards of 1,219 meter above sea level. This country spoke three languages such as Spanish as an official and national language of Equatorial Guinea, French in order to strengthen economic ties with other Francophone countries, and Portuguese as an official level with the aim of going membership or gaining membership to the community of Portuguese language countries. Moreover, their local currency is the Central African Franc or CFA issued by the Bank des Etats de la Frec Central. In addition, Guinea Equatorial Airlines or GIASA is an airline base in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. It was established and started operations in 1996 and operates domestic charter services. And Malabo Airport is a major international airport in Equatorial Guinea located at Punta Europa Buco Island, Equatorial Guinea. Then, Filipino tourists are required to have a visa when traveling to Equatorial Guinea. So what are you waiting for? Get your visa now. Turista, are you still awake? Then let's proceed. Did you know that this country has no tourism tagline just like Sao Tome and Principe? However, Equatorial Guinea has become one of Sub-Saharan Africa's largest oil producers. Here are the top 5 tourist attractions to visit when you are in Equatorial Guinea. Number 1 is the Malabu. It is the largest city in the capital of Equatorial Guinea and is on the island of Bioko. Number two is the Monte Ali National Park, located near the center of Equatorial Guinea. It was established in 1990, and the Goliath frog, one of the prominent amphibians found in the park, is the biggest frog in the world. Number three is the Muka, the home to plenty of natural attractions. Number four is the Ivinayo, situated in the mountainous region, famous among tourists for its nightlife, traditional markets, and waterfalls in the vicinity of the town. And lastly is the Anuban Island, the only island of the country and the passing vessels to obtain water and fresh provisions, of which Anuban has offered an abundant supply. There are 10 ethnic groups covered in this country, and the largest ethnic group is the Fang. The Fang are indigenous to the mainland, but substantial migration to Buku Islands has resulted in Fang dominance over the earlier Bubi inhabitants. This country is popular for their Music Day Festival hosted by Culture and Tourism to celebrate Equatorial Guinea's heritage. Renowned dancers, artists, and musicians flock to Malabo to perform in front of thousands. 
The mainland's culture is heavily influenced by ancient rituals and songs. Music and dance is at the core of Equatorial Guinea, and they are treated by the musics or natives as religiously significant. One of the country's most famous traditions is the Abira, which is believed to cleanse the community of Edo. The ballet dance is performed along the coast throughout the year and on Buku Island around Christmas. Traditionally, men wear long loose gowns or robes over loose pants that are tapered at the mid cap, while women wear long dresses or loose tape with long skirts often with colorful patterns on them. Amazing, right? Yes, indeed. All right, now let's jump off to our last destination, which is the Gabon country. Let's go. Oh, 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 welcome to Gabon. Gabon is a country in the west coast of Central Africa. Uh, it has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers or 100,000 square miles. And its population is estimated at 2.3 million people. There are coastal plains, mountains, and a savanna in the east. Libreville is the capital and largest city of Gabon. The city is a port on the Gabon River near the Gulf of Guinea. It was built on a succession of hills overlooking a well-sheltered port. Gabon is located on the west coast of Africa, or west coast of Central Africa rather, lying along the Atlantic Ocean. This country has a tropical monsoon climate and a tropical savanna climate, with the temperature being hot year-round and humid. In addition, Gabon is bordered by Equatorial Guinea and Cameroon to the north, the Republic of Congo to the east and south, the Atlantic Ocean to the west, the islands of Sao Tome and Principe are situated off the coast. While French is the official language in Gabon, however, 30% of the people speak Fang as a mother tongue, whereas Gabon's currency is the Central African CFA franc, which it shares with five other countries, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Republic of the Congo, and Equatorial Guinea. However, Gabon Airlines established in 2007 was a Gabonese airline headquartered in Libreville and flew out of Libreville International Airport to a handful of African destinations. The airline ceased operations in 2012 but had plans to relaunch in 2015 as the national flag rear airline of Gabon. As of 2019, the airline is still yet to announce its relaunch. At some point, the major international airport of Gabon is the Lyon MBA International Airport. It is the main international airport in the country and was constructed in the 1950s. A passport with more than six months of validity remaining, a visa, and proof of vaccination against yellow fever are required for Filipino tourists for entry into Gabon. Just like Sao Tome and Principe and Equatorial Guinea, this country has also no tagline for their tourism. But Gabon is known as largest oil producers in Africa. Gabon has experienced strong economic growth over the past decade, driven in particular by its oil and manganese production. This country is also known for oil reactor zones. The only known natural nuclear fission reactor on Earth, which was active 2 billion years ago. Here are some tourist attractions that you have to visit when you are here in Gabon country. Number one, this is the Pungara. It is incredibly accessible for Gabon and home to tons of bird species. Pungara Point, our park, the beach area of the park where the story connects to the ocean, is home to endangered leatherback turtles. Number two is the Evendo National Park. The river is the main feature of the area, running through the rainforest and creating an unbelievable series of rapids and waterfalls. Number three is the Point Dennis. Point Dennis is popular primarily because tourism development hasn't reached there yet. It's a place where you'll immediately know that you're near equatorial jungle. And number four is the Reserve de la Lo. It is complete with uh, savanna, rolling hills, and rainforest where it's possible to see buffalo, elephants, gorillas, and mandrills. And lastly, number five is the Akanda National Park, internationally known as the resting ground for one of the largest populations of migrating birds on Earth. Also the turtles, and also the ideal spot for water sports and spotting the, uh, dolphins and whales. Moreover, the population comprises some 50 ethnic groups of different cultures and languages. The main ones being the Fang, 
and the tournament of the nine provinces of Tabun, or what they call T9P, is a famous festival of traditional African dances and songs that takes place during the month of August in Libreville in Gabun. The Gabonese are very spiritual people. In fact, their traditions are mostly centered around worship and the afterlife. Before colonization, the Gabonese uh, considered music, instruments, masks, sculptures, and tribal dances as rites and acts of worship. Culture in Gabon is also experienced through paintings and even fashion, all of which are widely available for purchase in craft markets throughout the country. And the traditional Gabonese dress item is also the bubu, which is a flowing top that can be long down or knee. Men wear bubus with loss, uh, fitting trousers underneath, while women wear double uh, breasted skirts. So that would be all for our virtual tour. Are you having fun, Turista? If yes, then let's go back to the Philippines.